Hero promised that anyone who got all the multiple choice questions right on the upcoming exam would receive an A on the exam. Which of the following statements, therefore, must be true? Alright, so let's read up. This is actually a logistics question, not a math one. A. If Lewis didn't receive an A, he got all the multiple choice wrong. Okay, so it says must be true. Some of these can be true, but they don't have to be true. That's why we're going to count them as false. Okay, if Lewis didn't receive an A, he got all the multiple choice questions wrong. Obviously wrong, because that means, because it says that every anyone who got all of them right would receive an A. However, it didn't say any, uh, did anyone, okay, so let me try and explain this using maybe a percentage. Let's say there are 20 questions on the exam. You need at least 18 multiple choice questions correct in order to get an A. So you can also have 19 or 20. If Lewis didn't receive an A, he got all the multiple choice questions wrong. That doesn't have to to happen, could have also gotten a B or a C or anything below the threshold from an a, for an A. Of course, the threshold for an A could be a zero, but of course, that doesn't have to happen. So that means A is an incorrect answer. All right, B. If Lewis didn't receive an A, he got at least one multiple choice question wrong. Well, this must be true. Because if he didn't receive an A or a B or C, then he couldn't have gotten a perfect score. Because, uh, how can I explain this? If you get a perfect score, you are in the section of A. So, if he didn't receive an A, so if he was outside of this entire A section, then he couldn't have gotten a perfect score. Or in other words, he must have gotten at least one multiple choice question wrong. So, I'll keep my eye on that one. Okay. C. If Lewis got at least one of the multiple choice questions wrong, he didn't receive an A. Okay. So, at least one of the multiple choice questions wrong, he didn't receive an A. So, this doesn't have to be true, because all, all perfect, the perfects are just a part of A. All A's are not necessarily perfect, because as we mentioned before, maybe you could also have an 18 or 19 out of 20. So, you could have some almost perfect bunched up in there so th that means that even if he got one or two wrong he still would have received an a because a is not exclusively perfect perfect is not exclusively a or well, perfect is exclusively a but a is not exclusively perfect like for example squares are all rectangles but rectangles are not squares. Okay. So, D. If Lewis received an A, he got all of the multiple choice questions right. Once again, this doesn't have to be true. Because he could have gotten one or two wrong. Remember, the same reason above. Perfect is always an A, but A is not always a perfect. So D is out of the picture. And finally, E. If Lewis received an A, he got at least one multiple choice question right. Okay, so let's see. This is not true because if, uh, if he got at least one multiple choice question right, he could have gotten something below 18 because you know, almost perfect, and not necessarily greater than one. So, 
maybe a subset or a B or C would have this kind of thing, but at least one multiple choice question, right, would include like maybe a 13 out of 20, which I think that's a failing grade. That's a 65, yeah. So, this is not necessarily true because there is a bar set for an A and greater uh, at least one is far below that bar. It goes far below that bar. Okay, so that means E is wrong, so B is our only choice. Thank you everybody for watching.